This is an instructional <coughs> on how to build filters and labels so that you can check your Halton Cloud groups postings from your Gmail. We start here in the groups, which you can get to by going to groups.google.com, and then you scroll down to the group that you wish to receive notifications for. Uh, the one I'm going to do right now is uh, HDSB staff room. So I'm just going to find the HDSB staff room uh, somewhere in here. There's the HDSB staff room right over here. So here's the staff room. And what I want to double check for the staff room is that it's set to receive all emails. Now this means every time someone posts in here, it's going to send me an email and it will end up in my inbox. So switching over to my inbox, here's my inbox and I've received dozens of mails from HDSB staff room. <clears throat> in order to filter these into nice little categories on the side and have them not appear in my inbox anymore, I check any one of them and then pull down this more icon right here and say filter messages like these. What it does is it identifies the tag that will identify all the HDSB staff room um, emails, which is this right here. This is the tag that every HDSB staff room email contains. And so this is every posting in the HDSB staff room uh, group. So what, this information is already filled in for me. <clears throat> so all I have to do is now is click in the bottom right here, create filter with this search. Now, I will check two boxes. Well, first I'll check the one box, skip the inbox. This will make it so they don't appear in my inbox at all. Where I do want them to appear though is as a label off to the left-hand side here. So I'm going to create a label for it. So I can either choose an existing label or create a new label. The new label name will be HDSB staff room. And I'm going to nest this label, which means I'm going to have it, like all my other groups labels, nested under my groups slash communities label. You don't have to do this. This is just the way I keep myself organized. You'll notice I have all these other groups with already existing filters already put in under here. In order to do this, have an actual category under which you can create it, um, you can just create the label and then just let it sit there and you can always just select this option. If you don't do this, you can always do it later if you wish. So I click create. So now it exists and it's already checked the second box I wanted, apply the label group slash community slash HDSB staff room. And I just tell it also apply this filter to the matching conversation. So everything in my inbox that matches that criteria will be filtered as well. Then I simply click create filter. And from my inbox, all those emails, all 49 of them disappear and they are all now existing in HDSB staff room. Now, every time someone posts an HDSB staff room, it will automatically push those emails into this label over here. And you'll see right here, you can see that there's 85 of them in that little pop-up under my mouse icon. Um, and I've done something similar for my school uh, group, my HDSB system news, the staff news, um, the secondary teacher talk, the occasional teacher talk, as well as some other groups I thought I would be interested in their content. This is really advantageous. <clears throat> as now I don't really have to access the groups in order to look at the postings in them. In order to post to the groups, I still need to go into groups. Um, you can send an email to the group. However, I'm not tested how well that works, so I can't guarantee that'll work as desired. So here it is, nice easy way of checking it from your email. The other advantage to this is that if you use a Gmail app from your phone, then all of your groups emails and notifications will be nested underneath these labels, which are also available from your phone. So you have access to groups from your phone using the Gmail app, which is really, really useful. So that's it for this instructional, and I hope you got something useful out of it.